We're gathered here this afternoon to glorify God, honor the name of Jesus, and to do so in the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we're here. glorifying God as we remember the life of Ellen Robinson. Well, after 91 years of living on the celestial ball called Earth, Mrs. Ellen passed from this, uh, through the chasm of death and she entered into the arms of her loving Savior, Jesus Christ. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this place. Cousin Carrie's favorite memory is helping her make coconut cake and pickles <laughs> in her apartment on Yukon Street. What a combination. <laughs> One afternoon or evening, I think, we had all had a little too much to drink, and so... We're methods. Dad... <laughs> <laughs> and by too much, I mean like maybe two years. Um, <laughs> so Dad said, well, we'll just call her an Uber. And we didn't know how she'd feel about it, and she said, me, so she just hopped in the Uber and then you Front seat. Front seat. She didn't know you were supposed to get in the back. <laughs> um, she was a secret shopper. Y'all remember that? She would have to go to uh, fast food restaurants and order <laughs> certain things, certain ways, with certain condiments added or not, not, um, uh, not included. And she would always take us with her. And, uh, I would probably just unwrap my, just open my wrapper and grab a burger and shove it in my mouth. But she would open it very like gently and purposefully and then use the wrapper as a cradle, which makes a heck of a lot of sense. Um, it's, that's where I learned that. Fill out a three page question. Fill out a three page probably. She made really good bread and butter pickles, but was very stingy with them. Um, and this is a very grandma thing. She would only share one jar at a time. Um, that way, it, she could ensure that you would come visit you. One of the really funny things that I was probably, literally, I might have been 10 years old, but Susan didn't drive at the time, so she, my mother had taken her to a movie. Right down here on uh, Dargan Street at the Carolina Theater. And uh, we were sitting there waiting in line, and of course I was just looking around, whatever. And I could tell my mom was getting a little bit testy. And um, anyway, Susan was supposed to be out. The movie was over at 3 30, 4.30 or whatever. And next thing I knew, my mom was just getting aggravated. And she said, just like to herself, she said, if I knew a bad word, I would say oh. it. Think about that. 69 years as a member of one church. She would put on those crosses, a little cross in my pocket, to remind me that nothing is going to happen today that God and I you guys spoke so well about the family reunions, the family gatherings you love to get together. This one day, this passage promises we'll have the greatest family reunion ever. One day, the dead in Christ will rise. I believe the word of God tells us that they rise first because they got six feet to go. But nonetheless, one day, the dead in Christ will rise, and we who are alive and remain will meet Him in the air, and we'll have the greatest and longest family reunion ever.